Alright everyone, welcome to your Asbel Magmeter MGG14C. We are going to step through our menu, make sure you have the cover on. If the cover's not on, these buttons are going to give you trouble. They're very sensitive without the cover on. First thing you want to do to get into the menu, press and hold the mode button for three seconds. You want to enter basic menu, use your right button to select your option, press up to accept. You want to navigate this menu, you just use the up and down to get to your menu item. And if you want to enter your menu item, you want to use your right button, and then use the up to accept. So let's go all the way to engineering. Alright, we're in engineering. This is for setting your function here for your output. We're going to go ahead and head into that. You can see here, under the pulse output, 5 hertz frequency for 1 gallon per pulse. We can change that. And we can get exact values as well if you like. Remember, it's gallons per pulse, not pulses per gallon. So you want to be careful, make sure you've got the right conversion here. If you need to write it on paper, no problem. Most of our batch controllers are in pulses per gallon. So this will be the reciprocal of that. We're good with one gallon per pulse, that's one pulse per gallon. We're going to go ahead and accept that. Next menu item, that's our duty cycle. Fail safe mode. We got current out, that's I. You need to do a low or high or hold current output. On failure, we're not really concerned with current output since we're just taking pulse. Um, you, know, you can take whatever you like from the I.O. here. Pulse output, same thing. You know, Do you want it to fail on low pulse? Same pulse. Not a problem. Got our span there for gallons per minute. A maximum measurable amount. Okay, um, we can go ahead and get right out of this menu going back to basic and accept that. We're back in basic setup. We can enter advanced if we like, not a problem. Same idea. Damping, clearing the error history. You know, for example, we've got one error here, it just tells us that we have an empty status on the first one, and we can just keep going down our menu here for our error history and you know you can see where these are no errors this uh, set of eight error entries will just fill up so this is the most recent second most recent etc go ahead we can go back flow direction do you want it forward or backwards that helps uh, right now we've got it with the arrow pointing right right so we're going to have a forward flow direction do we want a current limiter doesn't matter, we're not using that. Excitation frequency, 15 hertz, that's cool, it's default. We can do as many decimal places as it permits, all the way up to what? What do we got? Two. Two's the max. I'm gonna go with one. Accept that. Low flow cutoff. Drop out, coefficient, it'd be like your scalar. Auto spike cutoff, averaging. Manual zero, you want to zero it right now. Do we have product in it? I'm not sure. But there's an option. You can even go back to basic setup and cycle through that menu. We've got maintenance. Let's see what's in our maintenance mode. Some output checking. Shipping info, calibration, output checking. This is great to check your pulse output. Make sure it's right, wired right. We have an open collector by default on this. That's all we've got here. Let's go back to our basic setup. Right now we can select which display item we like. I like rate because this um, will show rate as it totalizes on a different counter. You can have percent or total if you like. Alright, 
so there we go. That's pretty much all the menu items that you need to set this up. We'll just let it go back to the main. We're back in measuring mode. All right.